Now, I don't know if he never paid Dak for his work or what happened exactly, but Dak wanted some give back after that falling out. So guess what he did? Woo-wee! He Takashi 6 9 though. On his own. Nobody even forced him. I'm telling you, he, he wanted some give back, so. Before he completely disappears and goes into hiding, Dak picked up the phone and called the CIA tip line. Nobody picked up. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Ain't nobody at the CIA, bro. This ain't the DMV. So he left the message, though. Whoop. Yo, this is Jack. He left the message detailing his connection to Pa. And in the message, he said he feared for his life. The DEA, turns out, they've been quietly investigating RX Limited since 2007. And when they got that message from Jack, ha <laughs> the evidence from the Captain Ofok incident, and when Jack's message came in, ha <laughs> that's all they needed. That was a link. Because once they linked the boy, all right, watch, they got the drawing board now, okay? The evidence from Captain Ofok incident and the UN Report on Somalia with the guns, all right? So you got the guns, Captain Ufuk, all right? Uh, Zach over here yapping because he feared for his life. <laughs> and then the DEA, on the other hand, looking into RX Limited, that boy was just surrounded. Zach gave him the link they needed, though. The report that came from the UN on Somalia, it gave the DEA confidence to move forward with a sting operation. To begin, the DEA tipped off police in Hong Kong about shell companies owned by PA, their criminality. An office owned by PA in Hong Kong got raided and arrests were made dealing a huge blow to his money laundering operation. Then, acting as the DEA's informant, yeah, that boy just, he turned fed. Dak then came out of hiding and got back on Pa's good side. Hey, yo, Pa! My bad, bruh. We all good now. Hmm? Ali. Dak and the DEA came up with a story about a Colombian drug lord that wanted to set up a methamphetamine operation in Liberia. Posing as the Colombian cartel, they sent Pa a recipe, a little Heisenberg formula that was chemically similar to meth, but it wasn't meth exactly. <laughs> Kind of like Adderall, but that's none of my business. This allowed Paul to incriminate himself because he saw the incorrect recipe, but correctly assumed the Colombians were then looking for meth and offered to supply it. He's like, nah, man, that ain't it, son. I got the real ish. Tap in. DEA, damn near, you know? Threw a party over there. Oh, yeah. He fell right into the trap. Jack convinces Pa to travel to Liberia in 012 to meet with the Colombians. So, come September 25th, Pa lands in Liberia, meets with Jack and the DEA posing as the Colombia. During the meeting, Polly wasted no time incriminating himself by agreeing to distribute the drugs into New York City. And that's when they hop in and arrest Pa in that hotel room immediately after. But see, it wasn't the Americans, all right? This is Africa, baby. Liberian police came to get him. So 
you know, he did, you know, he did what to do at that point. He attempted to bribe the Liberian police, as one does. However, they quickly delivered him to the DEA, took him into custody, and flew him back to the U.S. Paul negotiated with the DEA by offering information on Iran and North Korea, as well as agreeing to take down the rest of his organization. His arrest wasn't publicized, and Paul is made to communicate with Joseph Hunter. The DEA continues the Colombian cartel narrative plays narcos when they tell Joseph he had a team of mercenaries that will protect the triad gangsters who will be smuggling the mouth out of North Korea. And Pa set up Joseph in an apartment in Phuket, Thailand to act as a base of operations. Just like they got Polly, they got Joey and um, recorded admitting several crimes he had committed for Polly. Except, <laughs> he got into detail, son. He told him, hey, yo, he described assassinations, bombings, smuggling weapons for Polly, even telling his men that they're going to be like James Bond in the movies. Holy. Damn, son, he got a sense of humor with it, too, huh? Shortly after Joseph and the rest of the crew were arrested at the apartment, Several members of Paul's organization were subsequently arrested in different locations all over the globe. Polly got hit with 25 years in prison, which he is still serving right now as we speak. He got charged with murder, money laundering, drug trafficking, arms trafficking, organized crime, fraud, and selling technology to Iran. He got hit with 25 years. And that's after snitching and setting up a lot of people. He invented E4M. It's important to note that TrueCrypt is a cryptography encryption software. Polly, uh, it really it really sucks to see how to see you know how how um because as messed up as everything he did was you gotta admit the man was smart the man had knowledge in cryptography coding it's just a waste to see all that potential you know like. It's sad, bro. He really could have been something great. I'm not going to defend Rx Limited and the drugs because, you know, he <laughs> single-handedly is responsible for a lot of epidemics in the U.S. and in the world, really. But at least with the drugs, the people kind of made that choice themselves. And it wasn't like guns were, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't have to dive that deep, you know? Like, not that I would, but if I was Buddy, and I ran up that much money off of RX Limited, why not close it down? You're already up 200 M. You don't got to work a day in your life. But that's that greed I keep talking about. What keeps you going? Waking up every day. Pursuing North Korea, Iran. You're not even selling them a few straps. You're selling them IEDs and mass destruction technology. Like, come on, bro. A lot of people say he switched. When he found out he was adopted. 
I'm not going to justify what he did or even try to. I'm just here to tell you the story. You make your own mind. However, in my opinion, I think he is the most likely person to be Satoshi. He's the only one who got the know-how and the motive to create Bitcoin. He is very smart and very knowledgeable in cryptography and languages necessary to create a cryptocurrency as we know it. He created gambling websites early on. Bitcoin in its early days, before Silk Road, the main application or use was gambling. I think I'll end it right there. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, smash subscribe. I got more coming, so. All right, I'm currently fighting a copyright uh, strike on my channel. But I'll beat it. This is annoying. Um, Yeah, man. Like, so that I got a whole documentary that's going to be demonetized. So if you got money like uh, Polly, <laughs> all right, don't go trying to. Buy tech for everyone. How about you support my channel? And super thanks. And I'll shout you out next time. Okay? Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Holla. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm.